It's Tuesday after about Back to work. We are tired of time. Dom's got to go to get paint, chew paint, buy paint, come back, spray a tuk tuk for it to be picked up Friday to go for the king's coronation. Why is the king like fish? The king loves a bit of calamari. And according to Paul, the guy's cooking pike. I don't think you can eat pike, mate. You can, of course you can. Yeah, you can. 100% the Polish people love pikes. <laughs> How much do you want to bet? bet Five ten. pounds. Ten. T- ten pounds. Go on, ask Greg. Come on. Can you settle an argument? Can you eat a pike? You know the fish, a pike? Yeah. Can you eat them? No. Oh, shit. 100% can't eat a pike? No. Is it worth me asking other people? Uh, possibly Peter like, but him like every fish. Nice. And I will win that £10 bet, so I'm going to find someone who'd eat a pike, even if I have to eat one myself. Now we've uh, recognised that no one eats pike. Apart from Paul. Right there, let's go and get some paint, go get our new compressor, and we'll get cracking. With only a few days to the King's coronation, last minute jobs come in the Tuk Tuk fish fry truck. Fish! We go now to find paint that's going to be the right requirement for the branding. First stop, Tool Station Leatherhead for a compressor. We have a compressor, we have a massive compressor. So for us to paint anything, we'd have to get rid of all the vehicles, just for a tiny tuk-tuk. So now, we go mobile. You would eat pike. Certainly pike, yeah. I'm Ukrainian, I'm eating pike, mate. <laughs> yes. Lovely, Thanks, man. <laughs> stop two, paint. The so stop two was a bust, no paint. No, no, they have the paint, they just didn't have the paint mixer. It's pretty essential for a paint mixing place. Oh man! <laughs> what is the king gonna do without his fried pike? Well, we still have to do that. We still have to sort out if people eat pike or not. I don't know if the chances are higher that people will eat pike or we'll get this tuk tuk finished in time. So it turns out that, uh, yet again, I was correct, and pike is quite the delicacy. If you're hungry enough, you'll eat anything, but apparently it is a cookable fish. James Fiapolis T. Stewart owes me 10, what's 10 pound in Poland? Do you want to, do you want to say what was on the internet, if you want? Say something. How's that? Smells like pike. <laughs> So again, we'll put that in tomorrow morning. He's come, the guy's come in here today. We can have a look at it, make sure we're happy with it. He can print it, we'll stick it on. Sounds brilliant. Thank All righty, perfect. Thank you. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. Come in, Italian. Ciao. Ciao, bella. So I guess if you're eating shit out of the ocean, having something that reminds you of the ocean when you buy it from them, on brand, and it's a statement piece. Electric eel blue, and the king will absolutely adore them. So, you see the tuk-tuk in the distance, smell the fish wafting up your nose some people will be like mmm what's that lovely smell me will be like oh my god that absolutely stinks because I'm not a fish lover and then you see the signage where it says two octopus legs eight quid or whatever it is you say to the man can I have two <laughs> can I please have two octopus legs here's my eight pound fifty pack it Octopus legs, choose your sauce. 
Yeah, imagine the profit you're making from one octopus. You don't sell all the legs to one person. You split that octopus up and you get loads of profit. Honestly, I can't <laughs> work with you because you just keep laughing. And that bit's gone. So these two need to both come off. Same What? Shine the light off your baldy head and see if we can find it. You're closest to the ground, so find you find it. Good, good, yes! We weren't asked to do any of this, but... So, where the fryer goes, we just rub a matting in a metal floor and then a wooden frame. We just put some board down all around that's clean, white, white clean. Hopefully, that should make life a lot easier in the cleanliness and food hygiene department. So the handle on this was broken when it come in. Luckily, because we are who we are, the world famous shred and bar, don't go on about it. We have got several tuk-tuks that we can go and take bits from. <laughs> <laughs> Here's one, two, we made earlier. No. I ain't getting in that. Ready? Yeah, be careful with me. All right, go for it. All right, guys, honestly, I am done now. Oh my God. All right, all right, back to work, back to work. It's a little bit sick. Well, we've got it. I don't know if it's gonna work. Stolen. I actually think it's Jim, so. Did you find it? Yeah. Put some WD-40 on there. Red, red one. Oh, that's you, B-40. Matteo, our Italian man, he's on his way down. Come to drop off some bits um, and see the colour for the first time. So, fingers crossed he likes the colour. Judge. Man, it looks good, yeah. Man, this guy looks amazing. I love it, man. It's even more, because I didn't want too dark. This yeah. is actually very nice. So a new it's handle. It's the beast, man. Uh, uh, hey, wow, man. This Proper is job. cool, man, I love it. Man, this looks amazing, the color. I like it. 20 liters of the second. Yeah. Nice. Oh, man. You're ready to rock and roll. Happy? Wow. Very good. So happy, man. Good. So happy. Ooh, 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 ooh. So happy. <laughs> Do you cook octopus? We fry everything. Yeah. We fry everything. Pike? Everything. Another happy customer, as always. Good paint job, well done, Dom. Ti puoi adesso in fioratura bubble, tiro dentro, vai a regolare di controllare le condizioni per le mangiare. Condizioni di gas elevate dovute fuoriuscire di controllare possono causare lesioni delle persone. Hi, welcome to my tiny home. Then comes round, then comes up to the tap. Oh, lovely. Yeah, lovely, lovely job. Lovely job. Flown together. I had to. Took the call, job came in, got it done. It's, um, it's actually better than I thought it would be. Because it was just going to be paint, and it became, oh, you hit a bit of fryer. Oh, you fit a second set. Oh. But we managed to do it, so. He's lovely. Lovely chap. Lovely. I've got a feeling that he is going to make an absolute killing. I think he's going to have it with this thing. You think fried fish, oysters and Prosecco. If you're on a date walking through London, you're having it, aren't you? Apart from the bad breath thing afterwards, that's because it makes you um, horny, doesn't it?